Hello and welcome to the third video in this series for Java for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at mathematical operations inside the Java programming language. Obviously mathematics within a programming language is incredibly useful in uh, hundreds and thousands of different ways. So we're going to be learning the basic syntax for how to do mathematical operations and it is pretty straightforward. You can see I've left this comment in here from last time, just so we remember how we declare variables with the names. So let's go ahead and make two integer variables, simply called a and b. And this is another way uh, I'm going to show you how we can declare variables. Uh, if we declare the variable type, if we want to make more than one variable of this same type, we can simply uh, write the name of the variable, the, the name of the variable we want to make and then we can do a comma and then we put another one and then comma and then we can do as many commas as we like uh, to make a number of different variables so i'll actually leave these in we'll make four variables all integers a b c and d and then we can declare them on different lines down here we can say a equals whatever or we can declare them in line like this but it looks uh makes it look slightly more messy a little bit harder to read so i'm gonna declare them all up here uh, and then we can initialize them just underneath. So I'll make a equal to 10, b equal to 20. Make sure we do the semicolons after each line. Uh, we'll leave uh, c and d for now. We can use those later. So there's four uh, different types of basic mathematical operation we can do without using uh, Java's built-in library for maths. And those are simply add, subtract. I'll separate them in commas. Add, subtract, uh, let's actually write it. Subtract, uh, multiply, and divide. And we use uh, we use these different symbols here. For add, we obviously use the add symbol. For subs uh, subtract, we use uh, the hyphen key. Uh, multiply is the asterisk, and divide is the forward slash. And we can use these um, we can use all these different symbols in line. They're built in. The Java compiler knows what to do with these. We don't have to use any other special syntax. So we can simply go ahead and let's go ahead and use the C and D uh, that we've declared. So we can go ahead and uh, initialize C now. And we can say C is equal to, we can say with this equals thing, uh, assign whatever's on the right hand side to the left hand side. Whatever the result from this right hand side operation is, assign it to that. Uh, left hand side variable there we could go and go ahead and say a plus b and then we'll come down a bit say system dot out dot print line and then simply put in uh, that c variable and then when we hit run we can see that we have 30 here we've made a equal to 10 we've made b equal to 20 then we've set c equal to a plus b the result of 10 plus 20 and that is 30 obviously and then when we print it out we can see it uh, so that's how we use basic mathematical operations and uh, in line we can use as many operations as we want bear in mind it will be affected by uh, bod mass or ped mass there's loads of different ways of saying it uh, i.e brackets first then uh, operations and so on So we can go ahead and do any number of uh, complicated equation. However, we can put this a and b in brackets here. Then we can say divide by 10, for example. And this is going to come out with the answer 3. Because we say, uh, let c be equal to, again, the equals mean whatever the result of this is, assign it to c. So the result of this is a plus b. We add those together, which equals 30. Then we divide it by 10, which equals 3. So you're beginning to see how we can uh, just simply use, as if we were just writing a normal uh, mathematic equation, we can just use brackets, uh, the plus, divide, times, etc. And we can just formulate our own equations and then set them equal to variables. So let's go ahead and get D involved now. We can come down and say D equals, uh, for example, C multiplied by b so just read it as if it were normal maths equation uh, we have a plus b which is 30 divided by 10 which is 3 then we're going to make d equal to uh, c multiplied by b 
which will be the 3 times the 20. And then we can hit run. Uh, first of all, we'll make sure we put D in the system out print line. Make sure we're printing out this new variable, uh, not the old one. And we can see we come out with the answer 60. So now that we've learned about the mathematical operations we can do, uh, let's go ahead and learn about some new variable types. So we've been introduced to the integer here. We're going to go ahead and uh, show you the all the different types of numbers we can do in Java, the built-in uh, data types for numbers. So there's three different types of integer. We have a short integer, which is basically a small number. And when I say small, I mean it's small in terms of uh, sort of computers and programming. Uh, the short integer is um, a 16-bit number, which I think it goes up to can go up to 32,000 and something, and from uh, from minus 32,000 up to 32,000. Oh, and there's uh, one uh, before show actually. We can declare a byte in Java, which is uh, eight bits, and then we'll say very small number, and this can go up. This can go from uh, minus 128 to up to 128. So byte short. Then we have integer, which we've been introduced to. This is just the average size number. Uh, it's 32 bit, which means it goes up to a pretty uh, large number, two to the power of 32. I <laughs> can't do that off the top of my head, but uh, it's basically integer will be fine for most normal calculations within a program. Uh, for if the integer is not enough, we have the long variable type, which is a long integer, and this is a large number. And this is a 64-bit integer, which means 64 bits of memory is stored aside for this, so 2 to the power of uh, 64. So uh, this is a very large number. This is the largest uh, number like primitive number data type in Java, and this will be more than enough for pretty much anything you're going to do. If any larger number needed than this, there's like custom, uh, there's sort of custom classes that Java used for that. So these are the four different types of uh, integers. Usually it's easiest to just write int because even though these two take up less space, uh, it's pretty minimal and it's only for if you're really concentrating on optimizing uh, a program that you're making. So just take note of these four uh, integers, they're the primitive data types, uh, byte, short, int, and long. Then we start getting into uh, decimal numbers. We have two different types. We have the float, which is a floating point number. And this is the uh, same size in terms of memory as an integer, a uh, 32-bit, and this can be equal to um, this can be equal to a decimal number, not just an integer. So we can set it to point uh, whatever we can have a uh, point. And one thing to note about the float, which is something you have to do, uh, you can see there's an error here, and I'll explain why. If we go down to the next line, uh, the second type of uh, float, uh, decimal point number is uh, called double. And this is basically like the long version of the float. This is not 62-bit, it's 64-bit, uh, so it's for really precise decimal numbers, uh, this double. Usually you're going to use float because it's going to be more than enough for something you're doing. But again, double is there if you need it. And this can be equal to whatever. Um, so you see here these two different types. Uh, basically, because there's no way of telling... Uh, I guess for the Java compiler. I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure the exact reasons. But uh, when you're declaring these decimal numbers here, uh, the float you put an f on the end, just like that for float. And uh, the f is just there to tell the compiler that this should be a float float decimal number, not the uh, double type of decimal number. Uh, so those are the two different types of decimal number. Then you have uh, the smallest, technically an integer, uh, the Boolean value, and this is simply true or false. And for this type, we use uh, built-in Java keywords. We can either set it equal to true. You can see that's highlighted in blue. It's a 
Java keyword, or we can set it equal to false. Uh, pretty simple. And the final type, uh, final primitive uh, variable data type we have that I'm going to show you. Um, so we've done the integers here. We've done the two different types of decimals. Uh, we've done the Boolean value, which is a true or false value, which we're going to be actually using a lot in the next tutorial. And the final one I'm going to show you is char, which stands for character. And this character, uh, a character variable type, can be any uh, individual character on the keyboard. And do you remember for uh, when we're writing a string in the system output line, we use the double speech marks. Double speech marks is for uh, strings of letters, characters and numbers. Uh, when we're declaring a char, we do single quotation marks, not double quotation marks. And we're going to put one, uh, there can be one character inside here. It can be a space. If you put any more than one character, you see you get an error. Uh, it can be a space. It can literally be any character on your keyboard. And each of these is obviously assigned their own um, Unicode, 16-bit Unicode character uh, within the Java compiler. So when you put in A, that's equal to whatever value it is. I'm not sure. And same with every other character uh, on your keyboard. So now that we've learned uh, most of the primitive data types, in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at if and else statements.